there are nearly 60 ice cream sculptures around the Iowa State Fairgrounds this year. They're all designed differently. This one's called Eat Your Vegetables, appropriately titled, as you can see the vegetable bowl on top. And the one thing that's fun about these, they all have their own tape. They all have their own spin. The judging was intense. The judges had a tall task trying to figure out which was the best design for 2012. Last year that we did the cows, this one seems harder for me this year. <laughs> No, I like that one over here, too. I mean, to me, as far as artistic, they're all artistic, and they're all, like, very well done. So now, to me, more it's creativity. I am still looking for creativity, and the bottom line is the way it's painted, then, because that's really important. You can have all the ideas, but if you do a poor job of executing the art, then it doesn't turn out quite as well as it could. But the, the creativity here with these cones is wonderful. It was a hard job. It was. It was just a really fun, you know, project to take the, you know, complete creative freedom that I did and just make it mine. It's me. <laughs> it's completely me. And I'm a pretty whimsical and kind of fun, sparkly kind of, you know, personality at least. I just took my complete, you know, fantasy of the ultimate indulgence, that's the title of it, is indulgence, and just kind of ran with it. And to me, that was it. Whimsical and fun. And if I were to get the ice cream cone with, you know, anything that I could, it would be sprinkles and whipped cream and the big cherry on top and maybe three cherries on top. And so, you know, the chocolate topping and I'm not one to pass up a good ice cream cone. <laughs> a little cut dowel and some colorful paint, and then, of course, it had glitter applied to it. The glitter on the letters was kind of a last-minute thing, which really made me happy and really was just kind of the completion of the entire project. Why the stick? Well, we're at the State Fair, and it's Fairlicious, and you don't eat something unless it's on a stick. You're a graphic designer by day. Yep. Uh, so tell me what it's like to have your work in that field and your work in this field. Um, well, it's completely different with the different mediums. Obviously, I've never worked with cement before. But it's nice because it's nice to get away from my everyday on the computer, um, that kind of work, to get hands-on. I love being hands-on with my work. So it's nice to have a three-dimensional kind of piece of art that's kind of interactive at the same time. Emma Wetzel won the novice category in the ice cream sculpture contest here at the Iowa State Fair. And Emma, this is a sculpture that the judges really liked for the painting. But tell me about the inspiration for your creation. Uh, I wanted the cow to look very whimsical and like a cartoon. And when you look at it, maybe you'd smile or laugh. So I think I, I evoked that emotion in that way. Now, one of the other things that was neat that, I, that caught my attention, I think also the judges, was your poem, Hey Diddle Diddle, The Pig and the Griddle. Did you write that? Yes, I did. And what was the inspiration for the poem? Uh, just once again to appeal to a child and something that a child could relate to. Now, novice is just by name because you don't make money from art, but you want to be an art teacher. Right. And this would be a great opportunity. Would you put this in your classroom uh, if you would get an art teaching job somewhere? Yes, I would. Would you make all of your students decorate ice cream cone sculptures? I think it would be a fun collaborative activity, yeah. The pig's got shades on, he's relaxed, but he's eating cotton candy. What's, and there's also a, a bird, and what else do you have on there? Uh, I have a couple bees. It was fun to do, and it was different. I liked the texture of the stone, it was fun to paint. And uh, I could do whatever I wanted. So it's exciting to know that they appreciate all the hard work that I put into it and it's fun to see people's expressions. So it's well worth it.